never get enough track oh! Oh! train your dread and it's wednesday aka jump day i almost said the wrong one but we don't say the h word anymore you know which one i'm talking about it's the middle of the week but it's jump day actually i'm jumping today warming up for tomorrow super pumped to jump today last time i jumped the day before my dunk day was actually better than my dunk day because of all the slippery floors and all the nonsense but i was flying but i'm gonna keep it super short keep it extra short today and fly tomorrow that's the plan um, and the only reason I dunk before the day before the dunk days and other stories that I've worked this up. So it's like my, my pre warm up days used to be very small where I just do stretching or light dynamic warm up, but I built it up to box jumps, built it up to full dunk. Day. You get the point. That's another story. Welcome to dunk life daily, the best show on the face of the planet and any other face of other planets. And, uh, where we talk about dunks, we talk about life, we talk about fucking everything else. And I talk and you don't. And, but we listen, I listen and we're blowing up soon. So I can't respond to all of you. So get in soon, get into the Ponzi scheme soon and you'll benefit almost as much as me, but not as much because I'm the top. On the peak, this stupid mic thing, this pop filter is covering my mouth and I don't like the way you can't see my lips move because I feel like some people that are deaf can't watch. No, I don't know. Anywho, I also wanted to start this with fucking Lil Wayne's rapping and stuff. But I don't know how to not get monetized. I've been bumping his old stuff. I got to point something out because this is a place for me to express myself, share my opinions as well. We'll get to the dunk series. Today's the dunk series episode one. Well, not, I'm not going to say episode one because I start everything over a hundred times. This is part one of the five part series of the top five se- things of training that I think are good. Have I made this video already about all aspects of dunk training? Yes. Is it 49 minutes long and nobody watched it and the thumbnail was terrible and I, I has no views on it? Definitely. Can you go watch that still? Yes. It's called How to Dunk All Aspects of Training. It's a podcast, same microphone, horrible lighting, all that type of thing. But this one will be a little bit more easy to consume because as you can tell, I'm definitely on track. I'm definitely staying on topic. <laughs> now, I'm going to keep it short. Five-part series. If you want to know what the five parts are, they are as follows. Um, where is it? Today is going to be how to start training. So it's going to be how to get started in your dunk life career, how to, eat, how to assess yourself. Tomorrow, jump technique and plants. Next day, strength phases, how long each different phase should be. Fourth, fifth, whatever day, dunk diet. And the last day, mindset, bro. Okay, so what I was going to say, Little Wayne, bro, I, what, last podcast, I think, or whatever, I said, always sunny is better than the office. I'm not going to get into it. Done. The other thing I wanted to mention is that Lil Wayne people shitting on him, dude. But the thing is, his past stuff, has anybody reached a higher peak for that long? Not Maybe not, maybe not that long, but as high of a peak as he was, he was at the top, bro. And then just because you fell off, it's like, yo, but what about his run? You just forget about it? Yeah, you want to play his old stuff. You, not everybody can make new stuff, but it's like not everybody reaches that peak that he did and the stuff that he did. So God damn it, I love listening to this old stuff. And it's not even on Apple Music. I had to. I, had, I still have it on my Google Play from when I used to download music, um, the non, uh, I'm not even going to say that, incriminate myself, but you know what I'm saying, the non easy way. And so his stuff bumps. It's so fun. I'm going to try to make some dunk mix- mixes with it. I think he's definitely inspired me because when I started listening to his old stuff again and I listened to what I rap about, I'm hugely inspired by Little Dicky, but there's a lot of Little Wayne flavor in there. I got to get my wrap up. Should I have gotten it up already while Little Dicky's was still really hot on the internet? Yes. Am I late? Yes. Did I want to make it too perfect? Yes. That's what happens when it's a creative thing is that I wanted to make it easy for you guys to read, put subtitles and pictures, and I haven't even recorded it yet. See, when you add too many things, you just got to do the first step. I'm thinking seven steps ahead. That's what this is about. This is about learning what the first effing step is. And the other thing I wanted to talk about was, that's it. Oh, yeah. And have I practiced my rap a thousand times in the shower because his acoustics are good and plus there's nothing else to do and plus I, I yell at the wall like I'm like hype? Yes. Have I said it in Ubers when I go out and I don't even drink, I just drink some water and I put plug in the aux cord and I wrap it in the Uber to, and I give them five stars because they listened well? Yes. <laughs> okay, we'll get into the training now. Let's go. How do you start your training for dunking? My best advice to everyone I meet, because I get this question a ton, where do I start? What do I do next? Is learn yourself. What have you been doing? What have you been doing for the past couple months? What have you done for the years? I always tell them this. This is what I tell everybody that I meet is a concept I learned from Jump Science, Daniel Beck. is like you have a performance window, right? 
if you're looking at the video podcast, I got my hands up as like my index finger. My, you get it. It's like a little window, right? There's a top and the bottom to the window and you jump at the bottom of the window or the, or the top of the window, right? But your window doesn't move. So say the top of your window is 40 inches and the bottom is 35 inches, whatever it is. When you're fresh, you're healthy, you've been working on elastic training, you're going to be at the top of the window when you're trying to <clears throat> when you're fatigued or some days you just jumped or the next day you might be at the bottom of the window or in the middle of the window. The point is um, when you jump consistently and work elastically, which people don't normally do, they don't push themselves to jump higher. They're somewhere in the middle of the window. Some days they're at the top just because they're lucky. Maybe they played basketball over the weekend and now they're kind of elastic from that training. So if they freshen up, they'll be at the top of the window, but they don't really stay at the top of the window. So I tell people just jump consistently, push yourself because you might be able to raise your window a little bit because you've never trained jumping by just jumping a lot. And a lot of people hoop and they have some good days and bad days, but it never pushed themselves jumping. And plus it's just, it's fun to get to the top of your window. And that's that. Um, so my, if, and if you get to the top of your window and you, from jumping, keep doing that, see how far just jumping can take you. Um, but also health is the priority health, no matter what is a priority. So don't just jump, 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 I say jump a lot and you need to, but it's gradual. I wouldn't say just jump and push yourself till you get hurt. If you feel any pain, health is priority. So definitely start of every dunk life thing is push yourself to jump, but then assess your body, see where it hurts, your lower back, your knees, and really get that health because you're never going to have long-term progress if you have a bad foundation. Foundation is first, and that means healthy tendons, healthy ligaments, healthy bones, healthy skin, healthy cells, healthy mind. So go with health first and jump. And then the next thing to do is assess where you're weak. So some people are, uh, uh, some people are weak. Some people are, they're not, you have to figure out what plant you are, right? So that's going to be tomorrow what plant you are. But what I mean by that is try different plants, see what you can work on all jumping based. So if you, if you're all off one foot, see if you can do two foot, see what, just use this time to assess all the little things that you need. So that way you can start from the ground up. There's not going to be a secret and there's not going to be a program that you need. That's going to just take you up to the next level. People say, what program do you follow? What exercises do I do? It's so variable. Start with jumping and assess, meaning if you're jumping and you feel super powerful and you um, are really good off a standing vert, but you have no approach, work on your approach. Start gradual with that as well. Start with a drop step, then two steps back, then three steps back, and so on. And if you're vice versa, if you're like me and you you run full speed and you get a full jump and you're terrible off vert, work on your off vert. But just from a logical standpoint, the, the off vert has no speed involved. So obviously, there's a lot of strength there. And it obviously, the, vice versa, if you have if you can't do off vert and you're using all speed, you're using all your speed, you don't have as much strength. So then you might need a strength phase. But if you're, if you're jumping for a little bit and you realize that your off vert is better than your run, then you, need, you have all that strength. You just need to work on your technique. So I, I would say jumping and technique first because most people don't do that. Assess your body for health and that's the foundation and go with that. And the last thing I got to say is when you pick a program, um, some of them that I recommend are bounce kit, um, Airstrike with John Evans, Daniel Bax, Jump Science, PPA Tyler Ray, ATG um, with Ben and, and Connor. Theirs is more health. Um, I'm not too sh- the, the ATG I use for health. It helped my knees get healthy. The rest I've used different aspects of to get my bounce up. So it's up to you. I, I'll, I've used everybody. I've talked to all these dunkers. Everybody, everything I've done, my own program works as well, very well. But what I'm going to, if you want to work with me, it's going to be like this. It's going to be, I'm going to learn what you need exactly. And then we'll tailor it to you. Um, because there's just too many variables. I didn't want to just dump a program on people because it's too tough. And I want to believe in what I train. Um, so the last thing I'm going to say is when you pick a program, it's not just going to do it. It's how you do the program. You have to understand what you're doing with those exercises. Are you pushing yourself hundred percent and are you creating the right stimulus? So, Learn about that. Take the first couple months. Think long term. Think five years. Think 10 years. Don't think I'm going to dunk on somebody's head this next upcoming season when it's the end of summer. You know what I mean? Like you're not going to get 10 inches of vertical in a month. That's how I started my training eight years ago with jump manual. It was said I can get 12 inches in 10 months. No, 10 weeks. So I'm like, oh, that's sick. I'll be fucking head at the rim in, in, in two, two and a half months. Sick. That's sick. But it didn't happen. It took eight years. I'm still struggling to dunk it again. I caught a putback the other week, but I didn't film it. So here we go. Here we are. Fucking make it this. Anyway, super pumped for this. Hope you guys liked this one. If there was anything I missed and what you have questions on how to start your training, 
health first, diet first, foundation first, that's it. Foundation first, jump day. Perfect time for jump day. But everything's lining up. Everything's aligning. This video is going to blow the fudge up. I'm almost at 30K. <laughs> Next week, I'm going to be at fucking 90, bro. It triples. It triples on Tantra because I'm honing in on the skills. Plus, the title for this, bro, those that know, oh, man, I learned the algorithm. We're gone, dude. Whoever's in the Ponzi scheme with me, let's ride, dude. All right. Okay. And of course, I'm going to do on this day in history because it's everyone's favorite. Everybody raves about it. I'm not going to read them beforehand. I'm refreshing the page. It still says the 7th. What's today? Today is the 7th. Okay. 1461, Ming Dynasty Chinese military general Cao King stages a coup against the Tainshan Emperor. Well, there's something to learn. Um, oh, this is cool. I don't know if it's cool, but 1955, Tokyo Telecommunications Engineering, the precursor to Sony, begins selling its first transistor radios in Japan. Now, that's kind of cool. When was that? 50, 64 years ago? And now look at this. We got a high-quality professional video camera with a wrapping-type road expensive mic coming to you live from my fucking studio apartment. It's, not, it's a one-bedroom, but studio apartment, the studio part stands for it's my studio. So that's cool. Now, that, that's only 64 years ago. That was the first ra radio. 1990, U.S. deploys troops to Saudi Arabia, becoming Operation Desert Shield. I forget who they're attacking. Okay. Today in film, 2015, U.S. US presidential hopeful Donald Trump says in a CNN interview that news anchor Megyn Kelly had blood coming out of her eyes, blood coming out of her wherever. What am I reading? <laughs> that was four years ago. How is, that a, how is that a fact in history? I don't even know what that means. Uh, I don't even want to go into it. 2009 TikTok single released by Kesha, Billboard, Billboard Song of the Year. I don't remember that song. Oh, weird. 1929 New York Yankee slugger Babe Ruth ties MLB record by hitting grand slams in consecutive games for the second time in 13-1 win versus the Philadelphia A's. Man, Babe Ruth. Imagine watching that guy swing. God, a sweet crack at a bat if I've ever seen one. Okay, and now dunk lifer of the day. Let me get to my videos. Oh, by the way, compounding experience type things. Always Sunny, best show. Lil Wayne, best of all time, maybe? Coffee tomorrow, bro. Tomorrow for a Thursday classic, we're brewing the Colombian coffee. I got my grinder, hand grinder. Going to make the best coffee I've ever made in my life. I'm really excited for that. And um, comments. Let's see what we got. I think I re responded to most of them. Ooh, Josh Diamalante. Demolante, can you make a video about how to get a higher vertical? Huh? Huh? Are you tuned in? Are you tuned in? Obviously, you commented before this, but I'm saying, you happy now, dude? All right, what's up? Mindset is huge, says Corey Gregory. Certified dream chaser says, love you, man. Positive energy. Let's go. Yo, by the way, another compounding experience, which is just going to be better if you follow along. New font for the Dunk Life logo. New gear. I'm going to make fucking gym gear, like high quality you know, like I don't even want to get into it because I'm going to keep it secret, but I'm trying to make really good gear that you actually like to wear over your other clothes. So like you put on another shirt, you're like, God, this is not a Dunk Life shirt. It sucks, bro. I'm not going to even jump. Well, yes, that's what I want you to think. All right. Thank you for everything, man. This is a little bit of a long one. Hopefully it's okay with you because it's okay with me because I can keep going all day because it's okay with me. And if it's okay with you, then I would love to do even more. Can't wait to explode and only do this every single day better and better and better and more. I got my rap coming out. I can't, I got to post it. But this has been going so well, I don't want to fuck up my YouTube. But Duncan today, Duncan tomorrow. Check my Instagram for little highlights. But I do like to show my tube first. YouTubers first, Ponzi scheme enthusiasts always. Let's go. Toodle low. That's dunk life. Oh, that's the anthem right there. Tried to make an intro, ended up making an anthem. Oh!